The Samsung Z4 is not a standard size candy bar phone. Therefore, users want to know whether a smartphone gimbal is able to handle a folding phone, particularly during vlogging or a video shoot where it involves a lot of movements. I purchased the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 gimbal about 3 weeks ago and in my previous unboxing video, I showed that the magnetic clamp does hold the Fold 4 nice and tight. But can it handle the Fold 4 in action? Let's find out. For the first part, I'll be showing videos taken with the full force native camera without using the DJI MIMO app. Some of the buttons that work are the record button, the switch button for portrait and landscape mode by pressing it twice. Unfortunately, the switch button does not work without the DJI MIMO app if you wish to switch between the front-facing camera and the main camera. The joystick works for panning. And the trigger button that resets the phone position by pressing it twice. Unfortunately, the side wheel does not work, so zooming in and out has to be done manually. The Super Steady is automatically switched off when filming 4K, so I'm relying on the gimbal for stabilization. Now, I will connect my phone to the DJI MIMO app in order to use active tracking. One of the shortcomings of using an Android phone with a gimbal is the recording resolution is either at 720p or 180p and a maximum of 30 frames per second. Whereas the iPhone is able to shoot at 4K and up to 60 frames per second.
to me, the Z4 is a powerful device in many aspects. I love how it has the director's view option that allows me to film using both the front and the main camera at the same time. I can also choose to have both videos on the same screen or to have them separated into two videos. This is my experience with the DJI gimbal thus far. What is your opinion? Do let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you again.